Hello everyone and welcome back. Happy Minecraft morning to you. This is Dom and we are on the Small World server, the Happy Diggers Small World server. And today um, mm. I've been mining out some wood for the project that we're going to keep on working on today. Um, I know it's been a couple of, uh, I don't know, it's been about a week or two since I've kind of gone over, you know, events at least. Um, and we're going to take a tour of basically what's happened around here. Last episode we had, we actually uh, defeated the dragon, so I wanted to be sure that I went over some stuff that happened at the base and with peoples. Uh, okay. So we're going to head over. I'm, I just got to make sure I got enough saplings from this run here. Do, do, do. That should be enough. And where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Um, so today we're going to go... Um, and show what the progress of the base, um, and basically show what's going on here. And this, uh, we've had a couple visitors recently. Um, let's see, Fluffinator left me some supplies, which I kind of used already. Um, this is the first set I saw. Um, actually, maybe it was over here. Uh, yeah, it was the first set I saw was over here. Uh, this is from Pernix, and last episode I was wearing uh, these feather falling boots. And basically, he left me a nice little sign that says, I used your XP farm for a bit and also might have maybe had a little bit of harvesting frenzy with your farms. So I thought I'd give you something because of it. These should be handy in your mountain biome. Thank you, Pern. Smiley face. And I basically put my old boots in there. Uh, he left me the Feather Falling uh, Protection 3 boots. And then I saw these signs. Demon was here. He probably used my, uh, my enchantment table before I made it private again. I breeded some animals and stuff. Thank for letting me stay with Swinters. Um, he has been around recently. Um, I think the last time he played was yesterday. My phone <laughs> just went off. Don't know if you could hear that. Um, so yeah, he's been around. He's been mining and stuff like that. But I mean, he's not, he's part of the kingdom now. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> And the last thing, I remember, I don't remember what this chest was for anymore. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I think this was from Swinters. I'm not exactly sure. Or it might have been from Magic. But basically, he left me a couple things in. No, actually, no, I wrote, made this chest. But he wrote this sign. He Somebody um, made villagers around, and they s hope they're still alive. I have seen them. They're actually kind of around the wall. I don't know if the zombies gotten to him yet, but they basically kind of migrated towards that wall. I think it's because they they saw the um, the village over there, maybe I don't know, and uh, are looking for doors. But on that note, and then Magic left me this, and he basically left me another set of feather falling boots, so I will never have to worry about feather falling boots again. Um, farms are normal. Uh, I just keep on breeding these and slaughtering them. I have a looting three sword now. Uh, we have a horrible pickaxe, but we're going to combine it um, probably by the end of this episode. Um, uh, I haven't gotten fortune three yet, but I've gotten silk touch twice. I need a new shovel. I've been using the axe, this you know level one axe, to work on this these trees, and we're going to go show off what we're going to use them for today. Um, I do need to bring a uh, crafting bench down there, I think. Uh, I can make one. But yeah, we're gonna go down to the base. And I could have gone the other way, but this is this way is more epic. <laughs> yes, I think about that kind of stuff when I'm recording. So we're gonna go over here, and this is what I call the big dig. Um, and here we are. It's a 34 diameter cylinder in the ground. Um, so far, that is at level uh, 42. Um, thanks to uh, Nexi Boy, he was he helped me get from. I mean, he he helped me with basically like six or seven layers. Um, I did a lot of the other, you know, the higher digging, but he helped me with a lot of it. I've been maintaining these staircases. Um, basically, I dug those first. I also dug a drop pit, but base but we kind of got down to where the drop pit ended already. Um, this is exactly, well not exactly, but very, very similar to the base that I used to have in my old LP world. Um, and I always wanted to make it again, um, or continue it. 
because I thought it was a great design and all the new features actually kind of help uh, with this base. Um, and eventually with the 1.5 update, um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have uh, redstone updates. So that's going to even help this base even more. And the reason why I say that is because we're going to have a lot of area that we can live in, but it's vertical. So all the chunks are loaded. And I always mention that if you live vertically, it's probably the best for redstone and for uh, all your inventions or any of those kinds of things or your farms because all your chunks are always loaded. I don't know how it works in multiplayer specifically, but uh, we'll have to, you know, kind of see how that works out. So each floor, um, that floor right there is at foot level 44. Up there is 16 higher than that, so that should be 60. Um, this is 8 higher and this is 60 up here. So each floor is 16 blocks apart. There will be a clearance of uh, roof clearance, I think about 10 blocks-ish, um, and we're going to uh, basically carve that out into this rock face. Uh, we're going to be face and this area is going to be open. Uh, this is just going to be a big old hole in the ground, and we're going to basically make the base into the rock in all directions. So that's the reason for this border. And let me see if I brought... No, I didn't bring one. That's right. Got to bring myself a crafting bench next time. Place that here. We're going to make lots and lots of fences right now. So I'm going to... Might as well do this while I'm talking. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What am I doing? I make lots of fences, and I always forget how to make them. Okay. And that's good for now. So yeah, basically this is the perimeter. So we're going to be going into the rock face here. Um, the center is going to have a drop shaft. Uh, and the basically it's going to be a 2x2. Two two. Let me see if I have any good blocks on me. These will work for now. I mean, I got hundreds of blocks at the top. I hoard all blocks. Don't know why. But let's see. I'm not exactly sure where it goes anymore. Um, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, that's that. And then I have one, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Okay, this is the center. I should have marked, kept that marked. So this will be the area of the drop shaft. will be a 2x2 two two hole. Um, on each corner, there's going to be a solid block running upwards. There'll be glass on these layers. Uh, probably panes, I'm not exactly sure yet. But there'll be glass on that layer. And for um, the shaft, it's probably going to be solid. I'm not exactly sure if I want to make it out of a non-solid block yet. Um, but I, either that, these do have to be... Um, if they are going to be a clear block, they have to be a full clear block, so they can't be panes. But in between, this won't be wood, this will be all stone. Move that out of your way. Um, this will be stone, these will be some sort of non-burnable block. And uh, in between, there'll be lava. And the whole way down, each one of these drop shafts will end at a, a level like this. Um, actually, it'll be... Let's see, I think it's up two or three from the actual floor so that they can come out and they can bridge over one of these uh, one of these walkways. And I think I'm going to make it on the opposite edge from the walking path. So it's going to be in that direction. And it's going to kind of encourage me to build in the full circle and not just in one corner of each circle. Okay, um, each one of these drop shafts will have a uh, piston piston floor. It's going to control it, and they're going to be clear blocks that you're going to land on. And the reasoning why is because down at, let's see, I think that level, so I think 16 blocks below this, is going to be the roof of the uh, roof of 
the place uh, of actually of the mining level, which starts down at 12. And the reason why I picked 12 is because it's one block above where lava naturally spawns, and you can always dig lower. Um, but I wanted to have a floor that wasn't going to be littered with lava or obsidian, even though the floor, you know, one block below it might be. I just didn't want to have to deal with it um, immediately. Hmm. So this will be very open, similar to the top, but it won't be accessible to as much daylight. Um, this level will be, uh, you'll be able to see daylight um, basically the whole way up. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I want to continue it the whole way down. And the reasoning why those center drop blocks are going to be clear is because we're going to have beacons down at, I'm pretty sure, this level or... Yeah, probably that level. Just because I, I, it's okay if you don't have a drop shaft for one thing lower. Um, they, they're going to be centered on the center of the drop shaft, so we're actually be jumping through the beams um, all the way down. So we're going to be falling through beams of the beacons themselves. And each floor is going to be labeled with a color. So there's going to be uh, like a colored wool or something along those lines at each level. And it will not burn because there has to be a box around each one of the um, each one of these drop points to allow the wiring to be. So we don't have to worry about lava burning up our our wool colors. So yeah, that's been a little while. King is on with me, and the reason why I can't sleep this night away <laughs> is because he's on and he's probably AFK in one of his spawners or something like that. And let's see, the reason why I dug this lower is just so that mobs wouldn't spawn up where we are. We are going to start putting up the fences. Um, basically, this is going to, the reason why I'm doing this first is that when we start digging out these side paths, I mean, into the rock face, um, I'm going to know exactly where to uh, dig out until. Uh, we're going to have a a path that's going to be half slabs um, right on the other side of this uh, these logs come on there we are so it's gonna be all uh, wooden half slabs uh, reasoning for that is because I don't want to have to have as much lighting um, I do want to have lighting of course but I don't want to have to worry about mob spawning just in case my lighting is not correct. and because it has a nice raised look um, this border will have a nice raised look to it. Hmm. It's a little bit early here, so I'm just getting up. And I'm going to do these as well because I'm going to need them upstairs. What does it matter? Two, three. And I'll just use these. Okay. And these go the whole way around, uh, even on these paths right here. There has to be another log there. I'm going to use it to explain how this works. And there we go. So these are going to follow the whole way up the side of the stairs. There's going to be, hopefully, upside down stairs on the other side of this. Um, so just in case we have any problems with creepers or something like that, we don't have to blow a huge hole um, where we can't get up or down. Just so there's another block to support it. And this, these will run the whole way up, uh, kind of zigzagging. There will be fences and everything, just to make sure we don't fall off into the, the big, huge hole. We, we don't, won't always have feather falling boots, so I don't want to die. And I am kind of planning on putting lava on the bottom somewhere, because um, it will be a theme, having lava in the space. So I might use lava for lighting. Um, I love using lava for lighting. I used it in my last vanilla world. So we're going to place all these down, and I'm going to go over, actually I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go over what the plans are for the dragon egg. Last, um, oops, last uh, vanilla episode, I'm pretty sure I went over what's going on with uh, Demon. He, <laughs> I kind of gave him the dragon egg, uh, thinking that I wasn't going to be on here very much anymore. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, check the forums for those reasons, mostly. Uh, 
but I kind of gave him the dragon egg for that. So he built this little shrine out on his base, and I decided against my decision. It was kind of a rash, little enraged decision my <laughs> on my part. It was a dumb idea, and I'm not too happy with it. So what I did is I kind of went to his that shrine that he built for the the dragon egg, since I had given it to him, and I stole it. So <laughs> he was a little bit mad at me for it. I mean, not too mad at me, but I don't know. We've been kind of messing with each other back and forth about it. Um, so what I think the plan that we have to do from now on, since I kind of stole the dragon egg from a shrine, I want to continue on that theme um, and make it so that you have to build a shrine for the dragon egg. And uh, if somebody steals it, you know, they have to build a shrine where it's all, where, I mean, where it's not a chest, basically. Right now it's in one of my chests and you can't get to it, but basically you want to be able to get to that egg so you can be able to steal it since you are allowed to steal things on the server. So that's what I want to kind of bring on that, uh, that same feel. So right now I'm going to carve out like a four high, like uh, on a hole in the wall <laughs> for, you know, don't really have really good words for it four high kind of this about this deep for now um, and then we're gonna run a a, uh, a layer around that uh, this level and the level below it will be basically the work levels so they're going to be storage or I don't know some sort of like so our, my potion rooms will be in here my um, enchanting table will be in here uh, and I do want to make a variable enchanting table with uh, you know a different sets of pistons and stuff like that that push bookshelves up or down just so we don't have to torch it up like you know I normally do so we can just hit a button picks a level that we want to enchant something at and then those amount of bookshelves head next to the enchantment table um, let's see what else needs to be on this level I don't know. I, lots of storage, though. <laughs> Basically, is what this is, and it's going to be based, um, the first main level of the base. The ones above, this is going to be farms. Uh, all of the farms that I have outside will be probably at this level here. The one above it is going to be um, what I call the defensive layer, and that's going to be um, just normal. I don't know why I call it defensive layer. I think I'm going to dress it up to look like a castle kind of thing. So. I have to bring up the walls a little bit higher and kind of put like turrets on it and stuff like that. But it's going to be open to air, so uh, there really isn't too many things I can put out there that I want to maintain. Uh, but I do need to have some sort of place to grow trees. And I don't know if I have enough space uh, with that 10 or 11 high clearance on this level. So I'm not exactly sure. Like, So these will be farms. One whole corner will be dedicated to animals, so I'm going to have sheep on the back wall, cows, pigs, chickens, um, lots of text messages coming my way. Let's see, and I'm going to have uh, wheat farms, uh, potatoes, carrots, uh, melons, pumpkins, reeds, uh, you name it, it's going to be planted up there. Cactus, all that stuff. The whole farm level. And the reason why it's up above me is because I don't like going upstairs to things. So if I'm going to be at this level or the one below it, which would be by two, my two main floors, um, I, I don't know, I, I'd rather just jump downstairs and just walk up one set, let stuff grow and just kind of maintain it gradually. And the last layer is the mining level downstairs um, on level 12. So I will be down there a lot, and I will be making some sort of minecart shuttle to bring this stuff up to the these floors and stuff. So on this level, that side has to be minecart receiving, um, or the one below it, if that's what I choose to be the storage level. I might actually do the one below it. It's going to be minecart receiving for storage, but I'm also using the minecarts, uh, this staircase right here, for m me traveling upstairs as well, just so I don't have to walk every time if I don't want to. So, you know, if I'm on the bottom and I don't feel like walking all the way to the top, I can just 
jump on a minecart and, I don't know, take the minecart the whole way up to the defensive level. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for now. Um, I know it's kind of a talkie. We did get a lot of this, um, this stuff done. And I kind of talked, tr talked through some of the things I wasn't even sure about. So thank you guys for that. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to see you guys next time. And next time I'm going to have a lot more of this dug out. So we'll do a little bit more progress with building the farms or, you know, kind of setting the structure out. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.